You're filming too, huh? Yeah, Getting you're filming. We're dueling. Dueling filming. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at Goodwill. We are at Goodwill in Seymour, Indiana. I don't come here very often. I've only been here a couple of times. I have Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage. Hello. He's here with me today and we're going to go in and see. He's never been here before, so... I have found some decent things in here, so let's see if today is no exception. Okay, so I've grabbed a couple little things. I got this little, uh, oh, cute. Milk glass. Oh, I like that. Have you heard of, have you ever seen such a No. Thing? I'll get it. It's a dollar. Absolutely. Yeah. You should absolutely it's, get that. It's different. I got a little pumpkin. It's made in Taiwan. It's $1.99. And I got this little sprig thing, but we're looking at the ceramics section. Uh, it's all this little collie. I think it's snappy wear, but it's got a little broken it? ear. It's be a dollar. I mean a dollar. But look at the, bad. but look oh, at, yeah, yeah it's got a lot of damage on it. I was looking at these little, I'm a sucker for these turkeys. They're sugar britches. Sugar britches. Stay in the way. Same thing. Sing, sing, sing it away. Here is. These are Homer Laughlin happy, happy face plates. Homer Laughlin, there's only three of them. They're in questionable shape. Here's an Italian plate. Oh, here's some jack o' lantern plates. Made by Hallmark. Those are kind of cute. They do have some, like that one has a little damage right there. That one's got some damage. They all have a little bit of damage on them, but I do like them. Fun little Hallmark. Did you look on the end shelf here? Yeah. Oh look, there's um, a Santa and a snowman bowling pin someone's painted. Pyramids. Now is a good time to be looking at Goodwill, at Christmas decorations and stuff because a lot of people when they're taking down their decorations they may decide that they're going to donate some stuff so you can sometimes find some things that were donated. I'm going to look through these grab bags a little bit because I have found some pretty decent things in grab bags. So sometimes things are just literally kind of tossed in there so you kind of have to look I have been known to buy a whole grab bag for just one or two things that I've seen it does happen but these look like a lot of like poly resin figurines poly resin is not what I not what I'm looking for. Hmm, not seeing much. Jeffrey's kind of scoped out some of the linen, so let's just see. Kind of walking behind him there. Let's see if there's anything here. I just like to look for linen tablecloths. I like this rug. Tablecloths, vintage tablecloths, sometimes even vintage pillow uh, sheets and pillowcases. I myself like to sleep. I sleep on vintage pillowcases all the time. I think that they're much more comfortable. Oh, that's nice and blue. It is nice and blue. I you caught up with me. <laughs> I did. You're filming too, huh? Yeah, you're, you're have, filming. We're dueling. Dueling filming. I'll look this oh, look, there's some pajama jeans. Oh, wow. That's not a great idea. <laughs> Pajama jeans. So, what do you think of these? We've got... Oh, oh, we're just talking about... I was just talking about vintage pillowcases. And this, oh, that's pretty. $2 on it, but I don't care. I like that it has purple on purple. it. Purple. People were saying they're look, wanting us to look for purple. Yeah, that's been said. 
There's a white one back there that's oh, not here. so exciting, but... No. This one is, I mean, this one's not colorful, but that is really well done. Yeah. It's nice earth tone green. Mm hmm But it's $3.99. I'm not going to get it, but it is nicely. Whoever made that, you did a good job. So I don't normally show the clothing and stuff that I get at Goodwill, but I'm getting this for Emma. Look, it's Kevin's Famous Chili. Comment below if you know what this is referring to. I'm going to get that for her. But I was just telling Jeffrey that we need to go and like look at the figuring area one more time because we didn't really we didn't really get a really good look at it. So I'm gonna go and check it out one more time just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this area here. I'm actually looking for some candles. I don't think I want to pay $3.99 for them looking for some funky colored ones like I like those green ones there but I don't really want to buy all of those so let's just double check to make sure we are not leaving anything behind that we're gonna regret um, hmm oh look at that big hat it's a rodeo king hat already in the box Probably worth a hundred dollars. What is this? This is Linux. It's a cheese butler guy. Oh, it's on marble. He's a little cheese butler. I'm gonna have to look that up. It is Linux. I'm gonna look that up and see. It's a little chicken. Oh, look at the little salt and pepper shakers. The little bunnies. Uh, let's see here. Here are some salt and pepper shakers. I think they maybe are supposed to be salt and pepper shake. I think they're supposed to be like Christmas bulbs. And today we've decided that we're looking for spring and Easter teleflora gift hmm let's see just want to double check because I feel like we kind of looked here really fast look did you see did you see that I know I saw that but did you see this it's Linux but it has a little cheese butler oh wow all right I am going to go ahead and get the little Linux butler cheese plate I've seen comps and they're listed. There's one that sold for $20 plus $32 shipping. And then there's only one other listed that is listed for $30 plus like $15 shipping. So it it is $4.99. So I'm, I'm paying $5 for it. I maybe can sell it for $20 something plus shipping. So it'll be easy to ship. Yeah, so. it's a green marble. It's a green marble. It's nicely made. So I'm going to get it. Okay, well, I got a few things. Did I forget a few things? He's checking out now. I'm walking out. So I ended up getting that Linux marble cheese plate. I don't know. Sometimes things are just interesting enough. And it's probably vintage from the 90s. But I didn't see very many listed or sold. So sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes that can be a bad thing. But for $4.99, I thought I'd go ahead and take the risk and go ahead and get it. So I did. Uh, I got a sh that shirt for Emma, the little blue poofy things, and that pumpkin planter. Not too bad. So I spent $14 and I'm okay with that. So Good morning and welcome back to my channel. We're at the Goodwill in Martinsville, Indiana. I have Jeffrey of Real What's Nifty your channel Vintage. <laughs> Real Nifty Vintage. We're trying to hit up several Goodwills today and a couple flea markets, maybe an antique mall. It is New Year's Day, so like Trader Baker's isn't open today, so I'm a little sad about that. But Goodwill is open today. We're going to hit up that and see what we can find in here. Let's go. Alright. Oh, we got a... Oh, yeah. I was in here and found a bunch of owls one time. Look at the little... in my shop right now. That... The that little seal. Sea, seal. I'm going to get these Oh, why is this one $2? Yeah, I, I have, no, I know. Sometimes you'll see, okay, this is 
A dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. Wait, wait, wait. It's fifty percent off black. Is that black? It, no, it's brown. Green. Oh no, that's kind of pretty. You're kind of. Yeah. It's kind of pretty. Kind it's of different. Kind of good. Uh, good. Yeah. No. Well, you can look at the tens, and I'll look at the figurines. <laughs> oh, look at the deer and the fox and the hedgehog having a party. I'm gonna have to do an initial. Oh, look, this I I see these little guys everywhere. He's fading on his little pants. I do kind of like these little home co Halloween bears. I do. I think I might get those. I think that they're cute. And they are 99 cents a piece. So I'll do that. I like them. Let's see. Oh, no. Don't drop the Linux. There's lots of clowns here. I know. Aren't they cute? Made in China. Oh, he's golden. He's right next to those horrible clowns. Look at this little fella. He's a sing, sing, singing. He's made in Japan. He's old and he's half price. I'm going to get that little piece of paint off of him though, but I'm going to add him to my choir boy. My choir boy collection. Mini party lamps. Oh, look. Would these be considered fairy lamps? Mini, <laughs> mini party lamps. They're Halloween-y. I think I'm going to pass on those. Some more brass candlesticks, but I think I have enough. If I find one that's like unique. I might get one, but all glass. Uh -huh. A beaded thing. Beaded basket. Jeffrey leaves me to push the cart. I'm the car push pusher. Cart pusher. Let's check out the Christmas stuff. See if anybody's donated any good stuff lately. Because honestly, when you go to the thrift stores, a lot of people aren't going to be probably buying Christmas things because they're putting their Christmas things away. But I will buy them. I'll buy them all day long. This is Treasure Craft. I do believe. It is Treasure Craft. $3.99. I do not want to ship this, but that's the newer, the newer Treasure Craft. Well, hello, it's time for the haul. You know, I tried my hardest to film as much as I can in Goodwill, but I get frustrated. So whenever I'm filming in Goodwill, the majority of the time, the haul will be attached to the end of the video, just like it is today. So this was a haul from two different Goodwills that Jeffrey and I had gone into. One of them was in Plainfield, I believe, and one of them was in Seymour, Indiana. <clears throat> so this is a combination of two Goodwills. And then we went into a Salvation Army. Jeffrey filmed in there. I didn't film in there. So, but I, I'm going to show you what I bought in there. I got some tool. I'm going to start with a not so exciting thing first. I mean, it's exciting for me, but it's probably not that exciting for you. But I got this tool uh, that I use to wrap my packages in when I send them off. It was 99 cents. This is Martha Stewart, y'all. So Martha Stewart is spendy in the store. How much were you originally? $5.99. Well, I paid 99 cents for it. And it seems like the majority of it is there. So I'll use this on when I wrap up my packages. Um, so that's not that exciting, I guess. And I'm keeping this. These were $1.99. And they're these really pretty beaded picks. And I, there's three of them. So I got all three of them for $1.99. I thought they'd be really pretty in like a milk glass vase or, I don't know, just for winter, just for decor. So these were probably from, I don't know, these, they feel very quality. So they probably were from Pier 1, but they are beaded. They're really nice. So I'm going to put these in a table display in my own decor at home. So I'm keeping that as well. And the only other thing, well, there's two other things that I'm keeping. Let me show you those first. 
I got me another caroler. Now this one's a little girl. She's got a little bit longer, like a little, she's a little Dutch boy haircut, but I love these. So this is my second one. I found one that was in um, Tuesday's video. And so this is, this is another one. So I'm keeping that. It was 99 cents at Goodwill. And then I'm keeping this. It was also 99 cents, but this is Santa Claus land from Santa Claus, Indiana, which is now called Holiday World, but we're not going to go there. It will always be Santa Claus land to me and not Holiday World, but um, I, it's, it's just a little souvenir plate. It was 99 cents, so I will add that to my Santa Claus land collection. So those are the three things that I am keeping. Actually, the, the four things that I am keeping from Goodwill. All right, and everything else is available. It will be available either on eBay or a live sale, or you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and send me a message, and we can talk about the price and all that. Um, this is something that I bought to list on eBay. It was 99 cents. And I was schooling Jeffrey a little bit about, you know, going and looking at the toy aisle because I go through and I look for things that are sealed. So they're brand new sealed. This was one of those things. There is a barcode on the back right here. In the eBay app, you can pull up on your phone. a When you're on the eBay app, there's a little camera and you hit that little camera and it'll say scan a barcode. So you can scan the barcode when you're there and it will pull up all of the listings. You do have to toggle through to get through to see what things have sold for, uh, to see what the, va the resale value is on them and what they're actively being, being sold for. And it was 99 cents and it is a 3D puzzle of the Missile Frigate, the world's top great fleet. No shear, no glue, no tools, easy to assemble, educational, great decoration item. So it's a cardboard puzzle of this battleship. So it was 99 cents. So this is easy to list, easy to ship. So that's a no brainer to me. So it, I always suggest that when you're going through the thrift store, go through the toy aisle, look for puzzles and games that are sealed. Scan the barcode and see if there's any room for you to buy them with. So this was also in the game aisle and it was sealed. It was $2.99. It's a Christmas Story Dominoes. Now I'm going to list this, but this will probably sell for a lot more money during the holiday season time. And I paid $2.99 for it. I'll put the comps right there. So I thought it would be, it's easy to list easy to ship. And if I don't sell it, then I probably will give it to somebody as a gift because it is brand new. And all I did was scan the barcode and it pulled up comps and I decided to go ahead and buy it for $2.99. This was also something that, well, this wasn't in the toy aisle, but this is something that is still in the package and it's from Crate and Barrel and it's the Olive Boy, the floating garnish pick. So you put your olives on these little picks and they float in your martini. And you can be fancy. Um, it was 99 cents. It was actually, black was half price. So it was actually 50 cents for this. And these sell on eBay, gosh, I want to say for maybe 12 to $14. But for 50 cents, again, it's easy to list, easy to ship. Brand new in the package. So I picked that up. And then, this was interesting to me. I paid... Uh, $2.99 for this, and it is the Wii Sports game. Now, this is the game that would come if you bought a Wii back in the day when they first came out. They came with the Wii Sports game. It was the game that it came with. Um, this one actually also has, has Wii Sports in here, and it also has uh, Wii Sports Resort. So there's two discs in here. Now these, I'll put the comps right here. For $2.99, these sell for a pretty, pretty penny. And so I've known this. My husband has told me about this. If you ever see it, buy it because it's good money. And so I did. Um, the CDs 
are in actually really good condition too. So that is something to check out too. They just need wiped off a little bit just to make sure there's no major scratches or anything on the CD. But I went ahead and picked that up. So that was a pretty good, pretty good buy right there. I bought a couple mugs. I don't know. I didn't look comps for comps for this mug. All the mugs at my Goodwill are 69 cents. So if it's cute, I'll just go ahead and buy it. But this, I peeled away the sticker and it is from Walt Disney World in Disneyland. It's made in Japan. It is designed and made for Disneyland and Disney World. So it was a souvenir piece that was sold in the gift stores at Disney World and Disneyland. But it is, I think these are the Aristocats, right? So it's a licensed mug. I haven't looked up comps for it, but it's in, it's really nice. It's got a gold trim around the rim and on the handle. So I got that one. And this one, if this one isn't worth anything, I don't care. Because I'm going to keep it. It was also $0.69, cents and it's Shirt Tails. Do y'all remember Shirt Tails? Shirt Tails, woo -hoo. Oh my gosh, I loved Shirt Tails. It's like the 80s kid in me. But on this side, it has Nutty. And it's Nutty but Nice with a little squirrel. I'm trying to see. It's also made in Japan. I'm going to have to peel away the sticker to see if there's a date on it. But it's Shirt Tails. I loved it. It's got the squirrel on it. So if this isn't worth anything, I'm just going to keep it because I like mugs. All right, I did pick up another angel. And I'm probably going to, I'm going to add this to my, my angel army. It was 99 cents, but it was a black tag. So it was 50% off. And it's this little singing angel here. It was made in Japan. It's that composite sort of material. And I think he's, he's supposed to be holding a little candle. He's got a little bit of paint, a little bit of paint on his face. I'm going to try to get off or I'll fix him some way, but you know, I had like a whole army of choir angels at Christmas time. So I thought he was cute too. So I actually, I'm probably going to, I'm going to, probably going to keep him too. Sorry. And then I also got, this was $1.99 for this little bunny here. And it is a go, no, you're not a Google. You are a Department 56. A Department 56 bunny. There's the tag. I have sold Department 56 items before, so I thought with Easter coming up that I would give this guy a try. He's got sweet little gray eyes, so it'd be great for a decor piece. So I got him. I also got some Halloween things. I got this real, let me take out the little bears. I'll show you those here in a second. I'll show you this big thing first. This is a pumpkin planter that looks very much like the vintage ones. This one was from Walmart, I think. It's got a, it was $1.99, but it does have a, has a tag on it. It is vintage. It's made in Taiwan, but it l resembles those really fun looking vintage ones. And then I got these cute little bears. I love these little home co bears. They were 99 cents each. So there is this little guy. And so I'm going to take the tags off as I'm showing them to you. This one's one of my favorites. I like his little polka. Yeah, he kind of looks like he's got a clown suit on. But I still like his little polka dotted black and orange um, suit. Here's a little ghost bear. Here's a little jack-o'-lantern bear. Again, these were 99 cents a piece. And I like this one. It looks like a little witch's hat. I thought they were sweet. I probably will sell them as a set. You know, they're made by Home Co. Um, there's the Home Co tag on the bottom. But for 99 cents a piece, I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. So I'm going to try them and see. And I got this tray. Now, I will put the comps right here. Um, it is made by Linux. And it is this cheese tray. Did somebody say cheese? cheese we all love cheese but it has it's a marble tray and it has this little butler right here on the side and then it comes with the cheese knife and it also has the butler motif there i did pay four dollars and 99 cents for this the marble it's, it itself is in really good condition i did have the fortitude 
to run my finger across the marble to see if there were any nicks in the marble and it's and it's good um but i will put the comps up it's nice and heavy it's a nice quality piece uh so for four dollars and 99 cents i thought there was a little bit of room for me and it was something that is a kind of a fun serving piece with this chrome butler on there the marble itself has a lot of uh green undertones in it so i thought it was pretty nice it's pretty fancy so i got that and the last thing that I got from Goodwill was 99 cents. I'm on the hunt for fire and light glass. Yvonne, thrifty rich, she's got me on the hunt. You know, sometimes you just, we all just want a challenge. And that's my challenge. So I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. And I don't want to bug her with sending her pictures all the time. But I know that this recycled glass is something that's kind of, an up and coming thing. And I can, I know that the recycled glass has this kind of textured look to it. So this little bowl was 99 cents. I don't know if it's recycled glass. I, I don't know. I, I, it would be great if it was fire and light. I, I want to say that it is recycled glass because it's kind of wonky and it doesn't have like, it wasn't like in a mold form. So I don't, I will probably send her a picture and ask her though, but there's the bottom of it. It's got these little legs. I know that Fire and Light, from what I've I've watched from Yvonne's videos, they have a color palette. So I need to maybe look up that color palette and see if this is one of those colors that's in that palette that they use. But I really want to find some recycled Fire and Light glass, dang it. So I bought this because it was 99 cents. I bought it in, in hopes. In hopes. Then the last thing that I got was this. Now I have bought and sold these before. These do pretty well. These are, this is the van and it is a Wilton cake pan from 1978. It's made in Korea. It's the party van. Oh, this could be like the van that we're going to take thrifting across the USA. Beep, beep. Who wants to go thrifting in the thrifting van? We're going to go all the way across the United States. After the, you know what's over. Here we go. We're all beep, beep, load them up. We're all going in the thrifting van. That's the dream, right? This doesn't seem like it has ever been used. Um, so I will put the comps up there. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to put the comps in on some of these things that I pick up. Just kind of gives you an idea. And you'll get a, a legit idea and not me just thinking that, recalling what it's worth. So I'm going to try to start doing that in these haul videos of items that I pick up at Goodwill and thrift stores. Just kind of give you an idea of why I did what I did, because sometimes it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why I do what I do. Sometimes I just go with my gut. I have learned, you know, over the years, what will sell, what my customer base is. And those, the time, those tend to be the things that I am seeking but I also um, have an idea of just kind of sticking with my gut. And I think that's an important thing to do. But always look up comps. I do. I, I look up comps every time I go somewhere. I will look things up and there is no shame in that whatsoever. Thank you so much for watching a little bit of the, of the Goodwill with me until I got frustrated and stopped. And now the haul video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you do leave it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave me a comment. They really do help with my channel being seen in the YouTube land, universe, cyberspace, whatever that's called. It really does help. So I appreciate the thumbs ups and I appreciate the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.